Okay, you guys, I have another awesome catalog for you. Well, awesome is a stretch. It is JCPenney's, but it's even better than the last one because this one is 1985. So there is some pretty fun stuff in here. Uh, there are also some pretty cringy stuff in here, but there is some pretty fun stuff in here. So let's get started. Let's take a look at this the whole first section. They always do the ladies fashions first. I think it was mostly the ladies who did their catalog shopping. So um, they always get top billing in the JC Penney's catalog anyway. And these outfits are actually kind of fun and people would probably wear them now. I like the little bomber jacket and the sweater. And then, um, yeah, that's a 1985 for sure. There's a lot of like menswear type stuff in here because um, this was like the the working girl uh, women boss era where women were trying to get into corporate America and work their way up. I guess not any different than today, but it really showed in the fashion at sometimes like the suspenders and the ties and we'll see some pretty crazy ones this outfit right here mm, I don't know about that one <laughs> check out the plaid stirrup pants and then we have these like the pants that had this like I don't know I don't know what you would call that where the waist goes down like that but then it's like all fabric at the top and then they're kind of jogger style at the bottom yeah that was that was interesting and just a lot of these kind of funky the drop waist was really in in 1985 And you know, like I said, this is not exactly high fashion here in the JCPenney catalog, but um, it is fun fashion anyway. <laughs> the berets. And then of course we have the penny loafers with the colored socks. And he here's a good example of our um, women's wear, men's wear. You see ladies at the office wearing that. And then we're going to skip a bunch of not great stuff. And yeah, this is the one on this page. I was like, wow, that's pretty 1985 right there. These suspenders, I guess, are attached to the jeans. I've got some fun sweaters, more fun sweaters. I'm not sure what the hearts are, if they're buttons on the sweater somewhere, or if they're supposed to be earrings. Maybe they're earrings. Oh, yeah. Earrings. They're big, too. And then we move on to... Um, Oh no, we're still in the gals' sweaters. This is a shaker knit, was real popular at that time. Okay. And. Okay, some of this now is, it's pretty, pretty interesting. Pretty, um. Yeah, you know, if you really like this print, you could have an entire wardrobe of this same print. You can wear that print every day if you wanted. Every day. And here's some more of our cringe fest. <laughs> Look at these dresses. Who was wearing this? I mean, the lace collars, it's like... Maybe your great aunt, but this one with this like giant collar. 
I don't know. And we have like these big giant sleeves. Everything was so oversized. plaid sailor suit another plaid sailor suit <laughs> oh boy now these ladies these ladies were ready for the office and these outfits these girls meant business that's a very exaggerated drop waist on that one. And so much lace. And this with like the bib. I don't know, I never understood that. And then we've got our like secretary style here. Some more office gals. Oh, these dresses. My mom had a friend who always wore these dresses that didn't have the waist. Yeah. Okay, so this section has this huge, or this book has this huge section on um, wedding dresses. And honestly, like, Okay, so this book has this huge section on wedding dresses, and honestly, I don't know who was buying their wedding dress out of the J.C. Penney catalog. I mean, they were, it was $195, and in 1985, that was a lot, maybe? I don't know. People are paying $10,000 for dresses now, so who knows? But these bridesmaids' dresses, though, I mean... It's like, if you really want to embarrass your friends, just wait till you see the ones that are coming up. I mean, the headpieces, you're gonna make your friends wear those headpieces. And the dresses with the ruffles. And you're gonna make your friends in 1985, spent $80 on a dress that they are never going to wear again. This is my favorite wedding dress, though. Look at all this um, lace here, and then the fur, like the fake fur. It's like if you have maybe like a Christmas wedding, you get the fake fur, and then all the lace, and then the puffy, and then the tight, and then it's like princess style and then it has the fur it's got like all the things <laughs> all the things oh my gosh that dress right there is like the only one that's like it's still shiny fabric but it's not bad but the rest of these my goodness my goodness and then, of course, you have the 70s style where it's like either you're super fancy or you're plain. You know, like this one's actually cute, but it's like, uh, are you getting dressed on the prairie or getting <laughs> married on the prairie? Maybe. The bows on this one, like little bow peep style. Just the hats. And then this page is like right here in the middle. And it's like, is this supposed to be like, this is your modern day bridesmaid. She wants a dress she can wear again. So, or a pantsuit. Put all your bridesmaids in pantsuits. <laughs> I don't know. Because <laughs> this is right in the middle of the bridal section. This is the best one right here. This pink one. The off shoulder that has like the mesh and the super high collar and then the puffy sleeves. The rest of the dress though, I mean they could have put lace down here and some bows. I'm sure there's like a huge bow in the back probably and then the hat. It just is the best. 
Oh boy, wow, look at that one. It's almost a wedding dress in itself. Unless you're like wanting to get married in a red wedding dress. And then you got th <laughs> this gal as your bridesmaid. You get married in the red wedding dress and then your bridesmaids wear this. Look at like the neck piece on that. It's like you're um, a space alien or something. Yeah. <laughs> the Southern Bell. And we have some more pantsuits and some more spacey outfits. <laughs> Look at that one. <laughs> Two tone. Two tone ruffles and ribbons. I mean, the ribbons are small and tasteful, though, so it does have that. And it comes in more colors than one. <laughs> And then these are those shoes that you dye. So you could get them dyed all these different colors. Oh boy. And then here on the rings page you have... Do you remember these watches? Because people were so hungry for technology. You just never knew when math problems were going to come up. So you had to get one of these calculator watches. You just had to. You never know when there's a math emergency. Okay, moving out of the bridal section, passing up a whole lot of ugly shoes. I did just want to stop on the moon boots because, you know, moon boots. <laughs> okay, now we're moving on to the PJs. And these are actually fun ones. You have some Snoopy... You've got Garfield, and these are star signs, so you could buy whichever your star sign was. That's cool. And you got some Tweety Bird, some Mickey Mouse. This one just says Lights Out. These are really cute, but they're $20. Seems like a lot for a night shirt, doesn't it though? And then we have the workout gear. 1985, these were not bathing suits. No, no, no. These were workout suits. Go to Jazzercise with your colored tights and your workout bathing suit and your, um, oh, these, these tights are um, stirrups. And your leg warmers. And here's even more. All the colors. All the geometry. It's all there. And then, of course, we've got our Reebok. colorful. It was like a wild thing for you to buy a pair of blue or pink shoes. Every other tennis shoe is white. 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 Oh, hey, there's a gray one. <laughs> I got some fun track suits and some more workout gear. Check out the rainbows. And then the men and women's matching workout gear. It's not exactly matching though. It's not as fun. And then we have the, oh, we're having so much fun. So you have the, um, it's kind of hard to tell here. Here you go. You can see his, the shorts over the sweatpants. And she's got that too. I think the only time I actually saw that was in Goonies. 
you know, um, Mikey's older brother, Brandon, wore the shorts over, like, the athletic shorts over the sweatpants. Check this jean jacket out. I especially like the, like, Aztec print on the inside. And then we've got some more fun, super puffy jean jackets. Like, these were lined on the inside, so they were puffy, puffy, puffy. And then you've got some fun sweaters with matching shirts underneath. It's like only the dad from a sitcom, I think, would wear those. It's like you got these, like, this guy is too 80s good looking to be in a JCPenney's catalog, you know? It's like the other guys, yeah. You could see them in the JCPenney catalog, but this guy is like, you know, he should have made it to at least like Spiegel or something. And then guys were wearing those super tight jeans. Look how tight those jeans are. They're like painted on. And then you got the super tight chinos too. That's weird. It's weird. Okay. Skipping over the men's stuff because most of the men's clothes are just boring. They're so boring in the JCPenney catalog. Especially this one. 1990 they had some kind of fun stuff. But this one is just boring. Here's the little girls outfits. You've got some Cabbage Patch Kids. And some Care Bears. And some Rainbow Bright. Got some super cute ones. And then this, like the fur coats, everyone wanted a fur coat in 1985. Rabbit fur especially. Which I always thought was super sad because I loved rabbits. And then here's some uh, a little bit bigger girls jammies. I got the Rainbow Bright and the My Little Pony that has a yarn tail. And this is how we watch TV back then. You sat on the floor in front of the TV because the TV was small and it was hard to see if you weren't sitting on the floor. <laughs> Some cute rain jackets and some little girls workout gear and of course you got Mary Lou Retton 1984 was her Olympics so people were all about the Mary Lou Retton and then some more fun girls like sweatsuits, Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Cabbage Patch Kids. And some fun sweaters. And you could get a sweater with your um, initials on it. Like if Ron Weasley's mom made it for you. <laughs> and some of these goofy dresses. Like, I can see these. They're almost some of the same dresses that they had in the women's. I can see for little girls, it makes more sense to have, like, the bib collars and whatever. It's just that in the women's, it makes no sense. I mean, it's strange. And we have a fun section of brownies and Girl Scouts stuff. Like, uniforms and t-shirts and stuff like that and then they have cub scouts too oh. <laughs> i like this section in the other catalog too it's like the little men section it's like i mean i guess i can see in this one like your kid has a suit for church or whatever but then this trench coat 
and this like three piece suit with the bow tie. But I bet that kid, he enjoyed that outfit. He was like, yes, I'm a miniature Alex P. Keaton. <laughs> this kid. <laughs> he made it to the Spiegel catalog someday. <laughs> Look at these cool raincoats. You have Spider-Man and the GoBots. And is this supposed to be Bruce Lee or it's just karate? The jumpsuit. It's just Okay, let's karate. There's just not I mean the same with like boys clothes and men's clothes. Like you have the underoos. There's He-Man underoos and Super Friends. But there's just not a whole lot of boys and men's stuff in this catalog that's great. This kid's got the popped collar. He knows what's going on. And then we're kind of back at the little kids section again. And they have some fun, like, Care Bears and Hug a Bunch jammies. Some more fun like sweat sweatsuits. A lot of hug a bunch stuff. We got some roller skates. There's a rainbow bright there, and there's again. That's hug a bunch again. Cabbage Patch Kids. I have not that I had them when I was a kid. I didn't, but I have a pair that looks just like this. That's um strawberry shortcake ones and then we have the rusty swing sets any kid who had one of these swing sets like it you go into their backyard to swing on these things and the chains are always covered in rust why why couldn't they have coated the chains with plastic or something and then you know you get on the s swing to swing and it's like Sounded so horrible. <laughs> and then you got your home gyms. I guess in 1985 there wasn't like a ton of gym chains everywhere around the country like there are now. So you had to get all the equipment in your own house. You had to get your leg press machines and you had to get your whatever these are <laughs> at home in your own house all right let's move on to the electronics and whatnot so this little typewriter right here um which is very small i actually had one of these i saved up my money and i bought one of these and it might even have been kid size because it was like small. I remember it was metal, but it was the same. It was a brother and it was um blue metal. It was really heavy, but it was very small. I even thought when I was like 9 years old that it was small. And yes, instead of saving my money for dolls, I saved my money for a typewriter. <laughs> I know. And here's the like aspirational someday stereo sets that people wanted and then of course you've got your VCRs this one on the top the deluxe VHS hi-fi stereo cassette recorder full feature unit has built-in stereo and audio 1299 dollars in 1985 we got 1985 was when we got our first VCR and it was, we went to this, like, janky little furniture store. And, um, we bought a Samsung VCR. And it was like, are you sure? I've never heard of this brand before. It was not a very known brand. But that VCR did last a long time. 
Do you remember these um, when everyone started getting the entertainment centers? And once in a while now, you'll see these like um, just sitting on the side of the road with a free sign like someone's trying to get rid of theirs. <laughs> because nobody wants those. It's interesting how like this section turned to everything else, all the clothes, it's like $10 and $20 is on colored paper. And then when you get into the like high end electronics and stuff that you're charging two and three and five and a thousand dollars for newsprint. What? Really? It's weird. It's weird. JC pennies. It was a weird choice. So you have your Walkman here, of course, they're like 50, 30 to 50 to 60, even 70, 80 dollars. This expensive one here, that's 89.95, that's not even a full Walkman, that's just a radio in your headphones. Just a radio. And you got your boom boxes. And then you've got your um, couches that you put in the back of trucks. So there's not a seat belt in here or whatever. So you know it's meant for people to sit on and then maybe even to fold out and sleep on. But it's just a couch. Just throw the kids back there <laughs> when you go down to the store or whatever. They can hang out on the couch. Yeah, that happened. And there's so many people had these conversion vans in the 80s. And there's just all these, like, accessories that you could buy for your conversion vans. All the different, like, handsome solid oak snack trays. <laughs> and the fancy chairs. <laughs> people were so into those vans. Okay, we're skipping over a whole lot of, like lighting and boring plates because again it's the Jay-Z Penny catalog but I did want to stop here at the wallpaper because there is some pretty cool wallpaper like the Sesame Street wallpaper and then you could get this little coat rack I like all the rainbows and the clouds and the balloons over here you have shirt tails wallpaper and borders that's cool and you have um, Muppet Babies, Care Bears, Rainbow Bright, Cabbage Patch Kids, and Strawberry Shortcake. There wasn't much Strawberry Shortcake left in 1985. That's when they decided to discontinue her. And so I'm kind of surprised that there was really anything. And I just wanted to stop at this page because... There's people out there who were wanting to live the MC Hammer gold faucet lifestyle. <laughs> they wanted gold everything. Because somehow these like $4 gold fixtures were going to make them feel rich. And then here's your grandma's bathroom. Look at how plush and fluffy all this stuff is for a bathroom that gets moldy and wet and other stuff. <laughs> Ugh. And there's your auntie's bathroom. Your old great auntie. This was my favorite one, though, of the bathroom stuff. The tufted toilet seat covers. I'll take a gold tufted toilet seat cover, please. And then we have these, um, so ugly couches. <laughs> these are just like with the ruffles and you can't even tell if there's like a matching pillow on here or not because it's so busy. <laughs> so busy and then more ruffles just all these pages that we're skipping here 
it's just more and more and more ruffles. I'm telling you, more ruffles and more ruffles. These, this one's cool, but it's like, why would you, if you want rainbows, why are you not going to go with rainbow colors? Why are you going to do muted? It just seems silly. So ruffly. So ruffly. It's all the ruffles. And then we get to the kids' bedding sets. We've got some, a teddy bear and an airplane. That's super cute. Snoopy. Trains. Let's see, what's this up here? Um, I don't know, it just looks like a little girl, but it's a like a four poster bed with a canopy and everything. Oh man, I wanted a canopy bed so bad. <laughs> and parents wonder why their kids don't want to sleep in their own bed at night. Oh my gosh. Why would you do that to your kid? And you got fun like football and baseball ones. And then you've got the GoBots. No, that's Transformers. Transformers. And then you've got My Little Pony. Strawberry Shortcake. Rainbow Bright. Cabbage Patch Kids, including a matching sleeping bag. That's awesome. Care Bears. You can also get the lamp and the curtains. You can get the lamp here too. That's like a little girl's dream bedroom. But nobody ever had like this, the whole set. You know, you had like pillowcases or the blanket or, you know, curtains, but nobody ever had the whole set. Okay guys, I think that is it. I think this is how we end the 1985 JC Penney's catalog. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.